Well, we start at 6 with an emotional day at the Capitol as Colorado teachers ask for more protection of their information. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dominic Garcia. And I'm Karen Lee. We're talking about a bill that would prevent doxing some teacher information. Doxing is a practice of finding out and disclosing information about another person, like their full name, their address, phone number, and other sensitive details with the intent of harassing them. State law has already put anti-doxing measures in place to protect a lot of Coloradans, including our health care workers, public defenders, animal control, and cold enforcement officers. Well, now teachers, the latest group of Colorado employers asking for those protections. It says politics seeps into another aspect of our lives. CBS4 political specialist Sean Boy joins us right now at the state capitol tonight. And Sean, teachers were very vocal about this one today. Karen, those who testified say they and their families are being terrorized. Teaching through a pandemic, they say, was challenging enough, but having their personal information posted online to intimidate or retaliate, they say, goes too far. Some state lawmakers agree. It shocks me that I and my fellow educators are subject to intimidation and threats. A Douglas County teacher for 27 years, Catherine Dorman told state lawmakers she never thought her job would put her safety at risk. Worried that someone's going to follow me home when they see me get into my car and find out where we live. And sadly, the vitriol that we have seen consume far too many of our fellow Americans and Coloradans has started to turn onto our teachers. State Senators Jeff Bridges and Kevin Priola say it's time the legislature stepped in. They were already planning to introduce a bill to prohibit the posting of educators' personal information online when the Douglas County School Board fired its superintendent, triggering a walkout by students and teachers. Some of the teachers found flyers on their cars telling them to get out. Then came an open records request demanding the names of all the teachers who had called in sick the day of the protest. Bridges and Priola expected expanded the bill to exempt dates of absence from public release. Senator Paul Lundeen objected. When individuals choose to, as a political statement, sick out, that is a political act, why should that be hidden? Why should that be protected? It does very much appear, but that that request is in an effort to retaliate against those individuals for exercising what is something I, to, I believe to be part of their fundamental rights as Americans. President of the Colorado Education Association, Amy Baco Alert, says Douglas County teachers aren't the only ones under threat. Something that I hear almost on a daily basis. And she says teachers are leaving in record numbers as a result. If that isn't a red flag that our educators need help and protection, I don't know what is. The Colorado Education Association did a survey recently that found two-thirds of Colorado's teachers plan to resign or retire by the end of this school year. The bill not only protects teachers from doxing, but anyone who works in a school. It passed its first committee, the Senate Education Committee, today, 6 to 1, and is now headed to the floor. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. All right, important story, Sean. Thank you. Covering Colorado in Douglas